Hello everyone. This video is intended to provide you a quick introduction into the basic features and principles behind Meerkat. The version that I'm using is the one that you can download at the time of the recording, which is 0.2 by the 4, you can, which you can download from GitHub, the latest version with a lot of new features, a lot of bug fixes, the recommended version as indicated at the time of the recording. So let's speak about, okay, what did you see? It's a new install, freshly installed. Everything is being, um, should exactly appear if you just installed Meerkat on your own computer. So you have here in the top area, the ribbon bar, four different areas, one page for project, one for design, one to modify existing elements and one to set some additional settings. Let's go back to the design page for the time being. Normally, you, you most probably are going to, to load a SVG file from an external source like Inkscape, but you can as well use Meerkat to do some basic drawing and to manipulate an existing drawing, even coming from outside, to help you to prepare it for your laser task. So let's just create a couple of simple shapes here we're doing a an ellipse we do another one a rectangle and last but not least we do a triangle over here okay so we have now three different elements and you will see them appear here under the element tree ellipse rectangle and a polyline whenever you click one of those the represent the, the the element in the scene will be highlighted as well, and the same vice versa. Okay, so let's change the, the look and feel of this one, for instance. You can change the look and feel, so in this case, the outline of the filling attributes of the element by either doing one of the following. You can actually double click on the element, then the property window will appear with some information about the current look and feel and that you can change some of those alternatively you can after having selected it here in the design area you can click on the property window which will actually create the very same thing and last but not least you can click here with on the right mouse button then a context menu is going to appear over the um, element and here you have element properties and once again you will find it very same dialog. Okay, so let's just click that here and click the outline to red. So two things are happening at the same time. Number one, not surprisingly, because we asked the system to do it, the outline of the element has turned into red. But secondly, here on the operation side, a new operation has, has appeared. We had one before, which was engraved, and now we have another one, which is called cut. Let's just quickly expand those branches here. You do see that we have the ellipse and the triangle still under the engrave operation and the red one under the cut operation. Meerkat uses by default the color of an element to assign it to a specific type of operations. Fundamentally, you have vector operations, so where the laser is following the outline of an element. So, for instance, it will go on the outline of that of that ellipse or raster or image operations where it actually tries to represent the things that it finds on the screen and you could have for instance a real picture here over here where it translated into an into a pixeled representation of the element and will send that picture pixel by pixel to the laser to get it burnt and just for the sake of the argument, let's use one thing. We change that to black and set a setting the fill as well to black. And now you have that third type of operation appearing here on the screen, the raster, just as I explained it before. Let's have a quick look what would happen if you would burn that. And for just for the sake of simplicity, we click here on the simulate button and you will see what is happening. Um, here you have a slider 
where you can actually go back in time and see what Meerkat is doing. And then we can play, click here on the playback button and increase the speed slightly so that we have a bit of a, of a better view. And you see, actually, it's using exactly what the um, instructions that I was referring to. It's creating an image and really drawing this picture. Here's yeah, a picture representation, then it draws the ellipse, and finally, last but not least, the rectangle. So that would actually have been your very first burn. But let's quickly go before we close that video to a couple of exciting features within Meerkat. The first one, um, the very same is true for an operation. If you double click on it or right click operation properties or click on the design path here in the property windows, you will have the information about that operation. And you have the information about the laser speed. So in this case, a speed of about five millimeters per second. I'm changing this to two because that may be more appropriate for the material that I'm using to burn through. And as it is a three mil plywood, um, normally one pass should be enough. But um, let's say just for to make sure that everything is working according to my expectations, I state okay, this execution of that cut should be repeated three times. If I go back now to the simulation, and let's see what's happening now. You do see here that, I'll just make it slightly bigger that you can see the picture a bit better. Okay, let's go back. You do see it burns once, twice, three times the image just as we asked it to do. So if you just click that and send it to laser, it will be executed. Um, your background will turn red to indicate that the burn is being done and the data will be sent to your K40 laser or any other laser that you have actually attached to Meerkat because Meerkat, as you might know, is not only supporting regular K40 lasers, but any laser with a Goebel interface, so diode lasers, but as well, fiber lasers with a better interface. So, so much for the very first burn. We will come back to more of the exciting features of um, Meerkat when it comes to operations, how you can manually assign them, how you can automate stuff more, and you, how you can get very specific things for your burn to help ease your life and your burning activities. Thanks for watching.